Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you the trades that were posted on Wednesday, 18th of October 2023. These trades were shared by KZ, who's trading S&P 500, CFD. As you see, the macro chart is in downtrend, and also you can see the structural chart that shows downtrend channel. So when the pullback got completed, using the smaller one minute trading chart, he identified this area of the pullback when the sellers came back and the momentum started to increase. So he entered here multiple sell short positions based on algo 125 and manage and exit with exit strategy number two with profit. So thank you KZ for sharing your trades with us. The next trade was shared by PM who is trading Nasdaq CFD. As you see the macro chart is in downtrend and you can see the downtrend channel also that has a complex pullback in a structural chart so he waited for the price to complete his pullback and when this level broke down this wave of downtrend that is aligned with higher time frame was traded using a smaller trading chart and he entered two sell short positions here based on algo 125 and managed and closed them with profit so thank you pm for sharing your trades with us the next trades were shared by yasin who's trading s p 500 futures as you see, the macro chart shows that the price bounced from this level of a static support and the buyers came back. So this uptrend wave can be seen in the structural chart. So using a smaller trading chart, he identified multiple area of long entries and entered and managed them and closed with exit strategy number two with profit. So thank you, Yasin, for sharing your trades with us. Next trades were shared by Sam, our global instructor, who is trading Nasdaq CFD. As you see the macro chart showing that the price is in downtrend with high volatility. So when he saw that the price reached this area and the sellers came back and it got rejected, he entered here with setup B, two sell short positions and managed and exit them on the other side of the channel with good risk to reward ratio and profit. So thank you Sam for sharing your trades with us. The next trades were shared by Yan or global instructor who is trading Nasdaq CFD. As you see, the macro chart is in sideways but close to the overbought area and is reaching the dynamics resistance area. So when the price got rejected from this level, he entered several positions using setup B and C and managed these sell short positions with good risk to reward ratio and profit. So thank you, Jan, for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades are those that I have taken during the New York market session and the video with detailed explanation was sent to students yesterday. So I'm going to replay the video here for you. Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you the trades that I have taken today on Wednesday, 18th of October 2023. These trades were taken on NASDAQ, Dow Jones and S&P 500 futures. As you see the macro chart shows that the price during the global session was below the previous day close and fluctuating around that area and was drifting down during the Asian session and also during the London session in a narrow range with high volatility. So when the New York market opened, the price also had high volatility and went up a few times and tested these levels. Therefore, this uptrend wave around 1050 was taken on NASDAQ with setup B with long positions and also on S&P 500 as you see and also around 11 o'clock several long positions were taken on Dow Jones using setup B, C and T and all these signals were copied by copy trader to multiple Apex Trader funds accounts and the result was positive showing profit factor of 1.8 with 73% win rate from the long positions taken and the average win to loss ratio of 0.64. The largest winning trade was 505 and the largest losing trade was $879. So hope this trade taken by the path system is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.